What is the penalty for uh, a witness who, who isn't credible? Because it seems that you know, you know, anyone can go to the stand and you know say whatever that they feel like saying, lie if if they need to, um, and it seems you know nothing nothing then then happens. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is that between the two, whether we're looking at Zandi Kumalo or we're looking at Mtogozi Situala, somebody's lying, um, or, or someone is exaggerating the truth, or simply embellishing. What you know, what what do we what then happens in in a case like this, especially at the end of it all when it comes out that. Yeah, what 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 happened is that the judge at the judgment stage the presiding officer there are some that would say we are not finding the evidence that is provided by this witness has been credible then once you've gotten past that first leg the next thing that you must do the npa to charge them for perjury consistencies uh, within the witnesses on the stand concerning the Mayiwa, um, Senzo Mayiwa murder trial. I was now conflicted in my heart to say, in the South African constitution, can you lie and get away with it? If you're lying under oath, what will be the consequences of lying under oath? Then I came across this interesting information. You see, what we are seeing, it's what legal expect, expect are seeing. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what um, Mpumelelo Zigalala from uh, local Zigalala attorneys have said about this. And I was happy to see that there are consequences of lying or when a person lies under oath, the NPA can definitely prosecute you for lying under oath, right? But there's a game, there's a game that was picked up by somebody that was pointing out at something that the family of, look, the family has been doing. But by the family, I'm referring to the Kumalo family. They understand what's at stake. That is why now they are doing whatever they are doing, which is, a, which, which is what I'm about to explain. Provided that you are interested. If you are interested, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. And that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you do comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do all of these nice things, good people? You need to do it because doing it, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. Remember, good people, we are on our journey to... to, to 20,000 subscribers and I'm telling you we're gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? We will definitely get there now You need to like the video you need to watch the video till the end You need to comment because it's gonna trigger the algorithm to spread this video to more people So that we can get to reach our target being 20,000 subscribers by the end or before the by the end of this month August speaking about this good people. Hey, so I was, I was doing my research around this because I, I, now if you're listening to what uh, if you're listening to what Ntap Seng said versus uh, versus uh, Zandi Kumalo versus Ntogozisi and Dumelo you find a lot of contradiction there has to be a consequences that I'm about to play a video that is a second video that explains what happened it's called perjury right in, in the in the south sorry, in the south african constitution it's called perjury you cannot lie under oath and get away with it so so guys i'm about to show you that now let me let me let me let me, let me tell you this you will remember that in tap saying said that's one lie that i'm gonna uh, that's one contradiction that i'm gonna highlight mtogos is says said that it was look it was the, the the light was still there you could see people right when this incident happened but Ntapseng says, no, it was dark. It was dark, so even the lights were on. Ntapseng, listen, Ntapseng went as far as lying by saying that um, there was a, a street light. But when he was asked, where is the street light? Then, dololo, there's no street light. She spoke about the lights that were coming from the house. It was that light that made you to see anything that was happening on the street. That's point number one. The, the number two lies that Ntapseng said um was that uh, oh, the contradiction was that Tabseng said she was uh she was uh friend to look to to zandi kumalo and zandi kumalo says i passed in Tabseng because 
Me, I'm not used to Ntapseng, so I passed Ntapseng. That's number two. Number three, remember Zandi Kumalo said that I passed Ntapseng and I found Mapiri outside the yard, right? Remember that? And then Ntapseng says, nope. And look, this girl came to my car. We went together. I'm the one that even um, called Mapiri from the house. Do you get what I'm saying? So that is contradiction. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've even lost count, right? That's another contradiction. Move from that contradiction, right? Um, then you go to then you go to the other contradiction where um, where there were uh, wasn't Tapseng. Let's leave Tapseng. Let's go back to let's go back and look at Tumelo's contradiction with Zandis, Zandikumalo's contradiction. Zandikumalo said they were drinking guarana and uh, that whenever they were drinking this alcohol, she, she will remove. I may not be accurate in terms of that. She was the one removing the cans, right? Remember that, right? So, um, Tahoza says, not me, I was drinking Hunter's Gold. Where did they bought that Hunter's Gold? Because it's not accounted for. We don't know anything about Hunter's Gold as far as uh, Zandi Kumalo is concerned, right? So, you see that contradiction, and then you're like, look, Tahoza said, I was drinking Hunter's Gold. So, that's contradiction number one. Number two, look, uh, as far as in Togo and uh, uh, Zandi Kumalo is concerned. Then you move to this one, you get into this one, you see that contradiction, right? Where, uh, Look, Zandi says whenever they were drinking, she was the one removing the cans, right? And then um, Togozi says, ah, there was never such a thing. Let's go to this one. Remember, remember, <laughs> remember that, look, uh, Zandi Kumalo says, Tumelo was there for the Lobola negotiations. We haven't heard anything about that. We're waiting for that. If it can be proven that Tumelo denies that, it's going to add a lot of dimension into this one. But let's go to Togozi's. Tozis went after about it. She was, he was, he was, it's very straightforward. That will never, that will not have happened. That's contradiction, right? And then um, today, look, we saw Dumelo contradicting uh, something, right? Ntapseng said that, look, Ntapseng was asked, um, into, look, sorry, Ntapseng says the car was parked outside, right? Which is not far apart, right? Ntapseng says the car was parked outside. Uh, and they could see people, but they couldn't clearly see who was on the gate. Then Mtozis was asked, did you see the car, um, the Yolanda car, which Ntapseng was in? Look, um, Mtozis did not see anything. That's contradiction. Um, Dumelo comes, comes to the court and tells the court that Dumelo and Mtozis went outside and stood outside. Now the question that um, that would be asked is, did you see Ntapseng's, look, Yolanda's car when Ntapseng was? Chances are if he says no, that's contradiction. Even if he says yes, that's contradiction. Guys, there's consequences for all of this, these contradictions. <laughs> In the South African Constitution, it is called, uh, it is just called perjury. Mind you, I haven't even finished the contradictions. I, if I had to write the contradictions, I'll come up with a list like this. So, what we need to look at here is, if you are a Hey guys, there are so many contradictions here. Hmm. 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 Let, 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 hey. hey guys, there are so many contradictions here. Uh, this guy, ne? long way. So he saw two men, two men with two guns. Zandi, two men, one with a gun, one with a knife. Now, I'm trying to do something. The contradictions here. Uh, long way. He pushed that guy, ran away, right? Same long way, in the same interview, he, he, look, he, he pushed that guy, ran away with, look, without his phone. When pressed about that phone, he went back and took his phone. I mean, he took his phone and ran away with the phone. The SMS then says, he sent an SMS and said, uh, um, Senzo has been shot in front of us. But he look in an interview. He said he wasn't there. In the exact same same interview, he said that he ran away. He did look on, look when they threw the gun. So when they fired the first bullet, he was no longer in the house. But he went and told us that uh, Kelly Kuma look uh, Senzo was shot by these intruders because he was defending K. Look, Senzo was defending Kelly like, because these people were men handling Kelly Kuma. That's contradiction. How did you say that because you were not in the house? Do you want me to continue? I cannot continue. That's too much. What is the consequences of that? Let me show you the other aspect that you need to know. Uh, the lawyer, Pumelelo Zegalala from Zegalala Atenes, said that, okay, 
you can be prosecuted by the state. What they will do, they will sit down and look at this and say, these witnesses have brought so much, so many contradictions here. Then if they can find that, okay, this is the true version of the story, whosoever shall be found lying will be prosecuted. The state can prosecute you, and that is called perjury. It's not what I said. I want you to take a listen, take a look at what look Mpumelelo Zigalala said. Mpumelelo Zigalala of Zigalala Atenis or from Zigalala Atenis had said some quite interesting things about it. Lest you blame me for that, it's not what I said. Listen to this. It's the judge, at the judgment stage, the presiding officer. There are some that would say we well, are not finding the evidence that is provided by this witness has been credible. Then once you've gotten past that first leg, the next thing that you must do is the NPA to charge them for perjury, which is lying under oath. Yeah. So the one thing that may, may find may be difficult would be what was the correct sequence of events and what what is the correct statement or evidence that ought to have been given compared to what they have been, they, they have given. And if it's found that it's two conflicting statements, and if, if even if you admit that you lied under oath, then you can be charged for perjury. Mm. Let's remember the crime in or the offense in which uh, Umar Matabile was okay, charged. Okay, okay, I know. Now that you have listened to this, I came across this comment that says the reason these people have a deep hatred against um, this police Butelezi it is simply because Butelezi has long recommended that if if they were not to be prosecuted for this matter, they would be prosecuted for perjury. So now, what they are trying to do, they are trying to discredit Butelezi, the police, so that then they will not be charged for perjury. But even then, we all have seen. It's no longer Butelezi that is pushing the agenda of these people being charged with perjury. Everybody has seen that there is law, there is lot of contradictions into this, right? So it's not even that one police who is doing a great job by saying they need to be prosecuted for perjury. That police, we need to congratulate that police that they hate the most. Now we know why they hate the police. Now we know that we need to love the police that they hate because that police has seen it a long time ago that ah ah mm -mm. and that that female police eh, around Richards Bay who was issuing the Tumelo with who was issuing Tumelo with uh, pro, dealing with Tumelo's protection order the one that Tumelo doesn't like the most now we know for a fact that we need to believe that police because that police have seen something you know what I'm saying? But now they hate, they have a deep hatred for all the police that have shown that they look, they don't believe this rubbish story, this nonsensical fabricated story. All the police that have shown that they don't believe this, these people have come up gun blazing towards them and say, like they're making sure that they make them look good. But I'm telling you, those are the police that we need to like because the rotten police are the ones that some of them have landed us here. But they are good police, you know what I'm saying? Who knows their jobs, who are doing their jobs, who are deliberate, who are not bring people into books. Those are the police. The pol now I've noted that everybody that is hated by the Kumalos, I must laugh that pissy. Everybody that is um, backmouthed by the Kumalos, I know that I'm telling you guys, Everybody that will be backmouthed by any witness going forward, we must love that person because that person clearly have seen that they are lying. You know what I'm saying? We must appreciate that person because clearly that person have seen that they are lying and they've demonstrated, they've never hide it. Those are the people that when we look, those are the people that we need to uphold. You know what I'm saying? Because we want police that will book all of us if we are wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Menakaza must be proud of police that uh, Menakaza wants us to be proud of police that are doing their jobs. Not always complain about bad cops. Let when we know when when we see police that are doing their great jobs. I mean, doing great jobs. Let us uphold them like these ones. All the police that shall be hated by the Kumalos and their associates. I'm saying to you today. I put it to you that we need to love all of those police because those are the real cops that are doing the right jobs 
Not the ones that they love. The one that they love is the one that we should dislike. Because obviously, the ones that they like are the ones that agree with them. You know what I'm saying? They agree with this corruption. And we don't want police that agree with corruptions. We want police that are disagreeing with corruptions. You know what I'm saying? Speaking about this, I'm going to leave it here. Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think about all of this. I'll see you on the next video. But until then, please take care.